Chris Crutcher grew up in Cascade, a lumber and cattle ranching town in the Idaho Rockies, a two-hour drive from the nearest movie theater. He says he played football, basketball, and ran track in school because he really didn't have a choice in such a small town. If you didn't show up on the first day of football practice your freshman year, they just came to your house and got you. Crutcher attended Eastern Washington University and decided he wanted to be a teacher. While he was student teaching, he lived with another Eastern student, Terry Davis. In those days, Davis would show Crutcher the pages of the novel he was working on, a story about a high school wrestler in Spokane. Crutcher would give him feedback and then see the revised pages that Davis produced. Those pages became Vision Quest, the 1979 novel that became a popular 1985 film shot in Spokane. Crutcher eventually went to work as a therapist specializing in child abuse and neglect. He returned to the Inland Northwest in 1981, taking a job with the Spokane Community Health Center. By day, he worked as a therapist. At night, he worked on his own stories. For the past three decades, Crutcher has been writing cutting-edge novels for young adults, stories that often mix humor and tragedy. He is the author of 15 books. His new book is Loser's Bracket, a story whose narrator is a 17-year-old girl caught up in the foster care system. Annie's voice is strong and often bracing, an appealing narrative voice and fast-moving plot that will engage readers from the first page, says School Library Journal. Crutcher's expertise gives the narrative about the harsh realities of what happens when kids are failed by both their parents and the state its authenticity, says Publishers Weekly. Crutcher is now retired as a therapist, but continues to be an advocate for kids. This past year, he met with students after the shooting at Freeman High School and then traveled to Florida, where he talked with students after the mass shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Crutcher stresses that he doesn't have all of the answers about how to talk with kids who have survived trauma. He sees his role this way. Most kids and adults need a witness, he says, someone to hear and understand and give honest feedback and find empowerment. Tonight, Crutcher will be in conversation with Spokesman Review columnist Sean Vestal. Please welcome Chris Crutcher to the Northwest Passages stage. <laughs> 